We're a game, a 100% black owned company with an all natural product and world class customer service. We're headquartered in California and we manufacture, package, and ship right here in the United States. We ship to more than 125 distributors worldwide. Normal processing is two to three days and we employ virtual tracking until our product is received. So, no matter where you are in the world, here we come and we're bringing your A-game. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform, man. Much love. Appreciate all the love and the support. And we back with another video. And in this video, I want to speak on the current events that's been going on between Kevin Samuels and uh, Umar Johnson. As y'all know, they've been going at it. Uh, it's been a whole little Twitter war. And just Umar just clout chasing. Let's just get down to it. At the end of the day, Umar is trying to find his way back into the good graces of black people. And the way he's going to do it is, is he's going to go through the gynocracy. So what he's trying to do also is he's trying to knock Kevin Samuels off his throne because he know that Kevin Samuels right now has black women full attention when it comes to the cyberspace, when it comes to this space, this, this virtual space, which basically controls the minds of everyone at this point, Kevin Samuels is the topic. Kevin Samuels is who these women are currently comparing other men to they're using the things that he say and umar thinks that this is an opportunity for him to come in and to basically show that he should be the man that supposed to represent the black family especially the black man as y'all know, Umar's history, he's been trying to do this for years. He's been trying to do this for years. And the reason why he's saying that the black manosphere is blue pill, it is because he thinks that he's been doing something different than Kevin Samuels. And he also understands that being that Kevin Samuels is a new guy, that there is a new audience that's getting to know who he is, getting to know the black manosphere. So if he goes out and say, well, the group that Kevin Samuels was a part of is a bunch of blue pill guys who are just out to, you know, simp and trick for women, then that will put him in the driver's seat of him being the archetype of black man that not only men should listen to, but who women should submit to. You see, this is why Umar came in the game saying he wanted to help black boys. You see, Umar came in the game saying he wanted to help black boys because he was pandering to single black mothers. He was pandering to them. He was using them to become who he is today. If it wasn't for single black mothers, we wouldn't know Umar Johnson. This is just a fact. Just like 
we wouldn't know Kevin Samuels or Kevin Samuels really wouldn't be who he is today if he didn't say the things that he said about single black women or single black mothers or the traits of single black mothers. You see? So why Umar is saying the black manosphere is blue pill is because Kevin Samuels represents this space. In mainstream media, when they hear the black manosphere, the first person they think about is Kevin Samuels. And Kevin Samuels is going around saying that he's trying to help black women. And what Omar is doing is he's considering that as simping when he's actually done the same thing. He's actually done the same thing. See, you can't come and demonize somebody for doing the same things you do. You the one came in the game pandering to single black mothers. You didn't come in the game talking to black men. You didn't come in the game doing that, Umar. You came in the game making money off the backs of single black women, just like Kevin Samuels is doing. So you got some goddamn nerve to be calling the black manosphere blue pill when you was doing the same shit. Not, not only, not only was you dating your clients' mothers. But you got caught in a scandal with the conscious stripper. So that seems very blue pill to me, Umar. See, if you're going to talk about Kevin Samuels, speak on Kevin Samuels as an individual because Kevin Samuels don't represent this space. He doesn't. Kevin Samuels represents Kevin Samuels. He does not represent the black manosphere. Okay? So if you're going to talk about this space, know what this space is about, know who's here, and understand what this space represents. And Kevin Samuels doesn't represent any of that. Okay, Blue Care Bear? Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Fellas, get out in the description box. Join this A-game lifestyle. Join this A-game lifestyle, man. It's a lifestyle of optimal health specifically for men. It is for our energy. It is for our vitality. It is for our strength. And it's for our libido. Get out in the description box. Join this A-game lifestyle at your checkout. Type in promo code SHEEP and the number 10. That's SHEEP and the number 10 to get a discount off on your purchase. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace. When I'm training for professional competitions, men and women always ask me for advice. To women, I say push yourself harder than you ever have before and go beyond your comfort zone. Focus on your goals. Men, if I am willing to push myself to become Mr. Olympia in 2022, then I only have one thing to say to you. Bring your A-game.